Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage video. I'm Rob, and today I shall be attempting to take this Corgi Mercedes-Benz 240D from Shabby to Shiny. Um, it's been a while. I've uh, I've taken uh, a few weeks off, to be honest. There's been, you know, kind of having to deal with a few issues around the house, the car, um, and the day job. Just been very busy, so uh, a little bit of a mental break. I hope you guys don't mind, but yeah, back in it now, ready and uh, raring to go. But uh, yeah, thanks to um, Tony Hughes who has sent us uh, an unboxing. So if you do hang around to the uh, second half of this video, you'll see lots of great cars that'll be kind of uh, future builds. Uh, your you know advice or input to those would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, this Mercedes, a very basic car, but I honestly believe that I've kind of made it look a bit more, I don't know, expensive looking, you know, I think it looks really nice. And I've taken a bit of a different route, you know, compared to the normal, um, changed it up a little bit, I think. But uh, anyway, yeah, obviously, yeah, bits and pieces there as usual. Uh, check the Amazon links down below for what I use. But yeah, so there's no opening on here. It simply reads underneath Made in Great Britain, Mercedes Benz. Uh, was it 240D? Yeah, um, and then just the pattern number there. But yeah, very basic kind of ugly wheels on it. It's got a, a toe kind of hook on there, which actually I don't mind, especially now. Um, it looks actually quite good. But you know, you'll see if you hang around for the unboxing, and I really do hope that you uh, that you kind of uh, do hang around. What I do find, unfortunately for me anyway. Is that uh, people drop off but hey you know that's fair enough if it's not your bag but um, on the carousel the uh, twirly twirly bit at the beginning there um, I did notice that the car was sitting kind of down low on one side which gave me an idea ultimately but of course it's uh, due to this broken uh, suspension piece very simple uh, got some kind of large humps on the bottom here. I don't know why they would be so big, but I'm going to try and really lower this car down. Um, I want it to still be a roller. And uh, I kind of wanted... I don't know whether you guys have ever um, visited a website, but I used to frequent a website called Retro Rides in the UK. And uh, I think... I kind of took inspiration really from the readers' rides that I've I've looked at over the many years. I haven't been on it for a little while, to be fair, but um, I used to go on there every single day. But uh, this kind of Mercedes is the style I think uh, that would be on there, and I could have slammed it down to the weeds, as you say, but you know I wanted it to still roll, and I wanted it to look purposeful. I wanted it to kind of almost uh, be the stance that I would have if this was my own car and I would love one of these Mercedes imagine kind of daily in one of these um, unfortunately a little bit out of my um, kind of budget but uh, I would love to just run around in one of these every single day you know pulling up against kind of you know brand new Mondeos or brand new BMW 3 Series or whatever they may be and ride around in this 70s classic and I know I would feel a lot cooler than them. Even if they would probably look at me and think, why are you driving that old uh, rusty diesel Merc? You know. But they just wouldn't understand. But uh, looking at the uh, window section there, it's not too bad. We just need a light polish up. And I was contemplating... That's a big word, isn't it? Uh, contemplating painting the interior, but actually uh, quite liked it in the white. The wheels I was showing, of course, are from uh, Greenlight, and they come. They should be for uh, the A-Team van, of course. But um, a, a relative, I guess, controversial wheel choice for this car, and uh, I like that fact. I may do more of that. Um, you can see here I've used the kind of little pipes. If only my camera. I've got this new camera. It's a um, I used the uh, previously a Huawei uh, P20 Pro, which has been for my last 300 or so 
uh, videos but the last couple have been with the p30 which should be um, a better camera but the focus on this just I don't know it's just not the same but uh, as you can see I've taken out pieces of metal here and also ground down the inside just so that I can really get those wheels tucked in and up but into the uh, footlong hot dog jar she goes covered in boiling water I actually bought myself a new kettle which I'm I don't know, <laughs> sadly uh, excited about um, but then now in comes in a tablespoon of caustic soda swishy swish and you can actually see already the paint um, albeit the focus is not really there uh, but the paint I'm sure you can see is already lifting within what 10 seconds so this one is certainly a quick one I think, I think you can see just there a nice large flap on that uh, rear boot lid but uh, I will put it to one side let it do its business and uh, we'll clean up the interior and the interior window piece there and yeah you know I was on the fence do I paint it black do I leave it white um, I'm glad I left it white and uh, I shall simply polish up the window section it was actually around about this kind of time that I sent a picture to Danny and uh, you know I said to him oh, I'm finally you know kind of pulling the finger out and getting back to the grind um, and uh, you know, I still talk to uh, Danny almost every day, and I know he uh, he sends me all of his you know bits and pieces as he's doing them, and it's kind of inspiration uh, for me to keep going as well. So I'm glad that he does that. But uh, yeah, I sent him a picture of this one, and he said, "Do you know what? That really looks good in candy brown." And I was actually intending to paint it black, but you know, I think the black with the white interior and the red wheels would have been a nice combination but in him mentioning the candy brown I thought you know I do agree that it really would look good in candy brown so normally with a candy you'd go over a, a light uh, metallic base but I thought well I'll kind of keep with the black theme that I uh, had planned for but I'll have the the candy brown on top of that and it's uh, it's subtle but it's a lovely colour in my opinion of course but yeah having uh, polished up the casting there we'll go with the black primer and I'm coming towards the dregs of the uh, can of this and still need to figure out what I'm gonna do for some future builds on the uh, primer front uh, I've got to sort something out shortly um, someone had mentioned before well of course you can buy this but you know it's so expensive now uh, what with Brexit and buying things outside of the kind of UK, you know, I used to buy paints in Europe and now I'm just going to be stung with customs and excise and duties and vats and it's, yeah, it's going to perhaps change what I buy, where I buy, how I buy. Um, ultimately it may uh, reflect in the builds. Now this was the first time that I had painted this, um, so not only did life and you know day day job etc kind of take a bit of a toll and uh, you know made me take a bit of a step back for a while, um, but also uh, having to repaint this car uh, several times, and I'm still not a hundred percent happy on the finished article. I'm about ninety eight percent. And I'd prefer to be 100%. But I just think, you know, if I was to strip this down again, we're never going to get a video out. So I'm going to keep with a 98% and move on. But the base there in the uh, in the matte black. And this is the uh, the Tiger Eye Brown uh, Candy Ink uh, by Green Stuff World, of course. And uh, this was the, like I say, first attempt but uh, I mean 
the camera doing what it does shortly. I should have really known what was going to happen. Did anyone jump? I know I did when it happened, when I was trying to paint the car. Uh, but anyway, uh, moving on, like I say, after a, a little kind of break, uh, we got the interior and the window section there. The wheels, which will be controversial, I'll accept that, but hey, I like them, I think it's nice. I think it's a bit different. And yeah, you got the uh, casting here. A lovely color, painted in some details. And I'll put it together off camera. But here's a little reminder of what you look like. And this is the result. So you can see the chrome paint there in the front bumper, the grill, the headlights, the uh, number plates around, and a little bit of a uh, uh, satin black in there. Coming around the side, those wheels, you know, very different, I'll agree. But I just think perfect sizing, uh, perfect scowl, and I think the kind of the lows of this are real purposeful like real realistic in my eyes um, this is how I would like my Mercedes to sit around the back there chrome in the uh, rear bumper red in those rear lights you got some chrome in the door handles as well of course you can see through the uh, windscreen there now that white leather interior let me know what you think of it. I hope you do like it. But anyway, big thanks to my amazing patrons. Thanks uh, you know, so much for sticking with me, especially with this uh, little bit of a downturn. And uh, for everybody else that watched, I really do appreciate it. Uh, please do now stick around for the unboxing. Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage unboxing video where today I've been greeted with a very heavy package um, I believe I know who this is from you can see there how well packaged she is it's, uh, is that a oh there is a note let me see if I can just pull this out and Check. Oh, let me just uh, fold over here <coughs> the address. Of course, this is from our friend Tony Hughes. Um, Tony did uh, email me and said that uh, I should be expecting a package shortly and indeed to come. I think just the following day, the 15th of Feb. Why is it today? The. Well, yeah, it is the 16th. Um, so this video will probably be going up in a, in a few days time um, compared to me re reading this but um, yeah so I think it literally one day um, it went from and if I remember rightly Tony lives up in the northwest I want to say Blackpool but I'm not 100% sure um, it doesn't have a, an actual let me just uh, yeah it does he, um, he does come in, uh, from Blackpool indeed um, Funny enough, I've just been watching um, just this tonight. A who is it? It's um, Ralph and Ricky Thomason from uh, Royal Family, and um, I've kind of my children have watched a couple of episodes and think it's highly hilarious. Um, but actually, Ricky Tomlinson, <clears throat> a famous Scouse, uh, was actually born in. Uh, uh, Blackpool um, but anyway let's move on let's move on that's just something I just thought of today um, I have been to Blackpool once about 25 years ago and I enjoyed it um, right so <clears throat> let's clear the old pipes hi Rob it's been a while since I sent anything your way not sure if anything closed are any use to you I'm sure they are uh, but I thought I'd let you decide that if uh, nothing else there may be some stuff that you can use for spares or gas land builds well I haven't actually made a gas land build for some time so you never know um, 
what what I like to do when I receive a package, um, especially if there's you know multiple cars in there, or indeed something for me to restore or or modify, is you know I'm hoping that there's and I'm sure there is considering the weight of this. If I can't find something in here, then I'll I won't be able to find something anywhere. Um, but I'm sure this unboxing will be at the end of me doing one of these cars today. Um, so I've been getting a few projects ready for paint, dismantling, uh, paint stripping and drilling and tapping posts, but painting at the moment is not really uh, on the cards as my garage workshop is unheated. It has it's been so cold. Um, I mean, down here in the southeast, it's been, you know, kind of in the negative numbers, it's been, you know, the, the warmest day was, I think, minus one uh, degree centigrade, that is, so... Um, I don't know what that is actually in Fahrenheit for you guys over in America. I think, I think it's something like you double it and add 30 or thereabouts. So perhaps uh, minus one is around 20 something degrees Fahrenheit. But anyway, um, and yeah, you know, it's cold. Uh, so I don't want to do a load of painting only for it to turn out rubbish. I agree. Um, certainly the temperature makes a huge difference when painting the cars. Um, you know, I, I myself have been through um, kind of, I guess, a learning curve when it comes to room temperature or putting the uh, castings near a heat source or near a window where it's cooler and trying to find that, you know, um, happy medium. Uh, but to come the warmer weather, it's going to get busy. So good, good to hear it, mate. Uh, including the box is something I have done to add to your collection one restorer to another I really do enjoy it when I see other people's work you know just to see um, the kind of how people do it you know and what kind of finishes they get um, you know there are some fantastic uh, restorers and customizers out there and I do very much appreciate it and it will go into my collection it doesn't come up to your high standards though, but I'm learning uh, I'm sure it does Tony I am no pro I just keep putting them out that's just me <clears throat> i mean i've done about i've probably done 300 plus castings now and i st you know i still uh would, wouldn't consider myself a pro uh by a long shot there are some people out there that are 10 times as, as good as me i'm just your average joe and i uh honestly do believe that but i've got a little channel and hopefully my personality plus kind of um, unboxings and restorations and customizations just give a, a little bit of interest to people enough to keep coming back there's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume um, although I never like to assume but I'm gonna assume this is what uh, uh, Tony has restored himself, so we'll put that to, to one side and open up last. Um, <clears throat> where do we start? Eh? So here we have the Matchbox the Wildcat, and one of my very early videos. I want to say my one of my first five. I somewhat restored one of these, and looking back, it's pretty awful. I don't even know if I've still got it, but um, yeah, the Wildcat Dragster. And uh, I would certainly like to do a, and I think I have done uh, since since the original one. I've done a, a bit of a custom on one, if I remember rightly, with white with a red stripe. But like I say, over 300 castings, I can't remember them all, but uh, a great little casting nonetheless. <coughs> this is the, I guess the the, the brother um, to that, the Mercury Cougar. Um, you know, same again with the. Engine there through the bonnet, beautiful casting. Um, they call that one, well, it just says the uh, Mercury Cougar underneath here, but what does that say? Rat Rod. So I have, I think I've actually done a, um, what do you call it? Like a post apocalyptic using one of these. If I remember rightly, the roof was caved in, but that's got uh, a good window section. And I think with something on the side, because once this sticker's removed, there's no kind of door lines, um, so it's very bare. Uh, so certainly something needs to go on. In fact, that reminds me now of this one. I think I've done a Texaco. 
I think I put some Texaco decals on it and I think I sold it but uh, yeah on my uh, eBay channel I haven't put anything up for sale for some time but let me know if you are interested in because you know I normally put up a batch of about 10 cars something like that uh, maybe some of my recent ones just to build a bit of uh, a bit of revenue revenue is well it's on the floor right now but that's not why we do it although it does help but uh, it's certainly low um, Amex Javelin it's a nice little car that again good good uh, window section there doors a little bit crusty on the side there but I think we can probably sort that out <clears throat> We've got the um, Lotus 7. I've got quite a few of these, a couple in really good condition. But this, this one's in even worse condition now, and now I've dropped it. But uh, of course, we're missing the little windscreen there. But uh, yeah, I've never done one of these, I don't know. Maybe I should. Well, this is a, this is a made in China plastic one. But, you know, I've still got to do my military diorama which I will do one day this is a Mercedes truck and yeah the uh, windscreen in there is busted out um, I wonder whether it was just in there and fallen back and it is but it is uh, busted unfortunately <clears throat> that's in good condition this is a slingshot dragster I think I've got a few of these um, we are missing though the um, exhaust here but I think that would be relatively easy to, to uh, replicate oh this is lovely the um, Rolls Royce Silver Shadow Coupe um, like always we do have a broken windshield there and we are missing the boot uh, which is very common this is cool these this so this is a matchbox from 1985 they've called it the parasite and I'm a bit confused what what happens does I want is this like a transformer it looks like there's all bits and pieces inside there but you've got three rivets there's a tab here but it's almost like this comes down so that's off this is cool this is super cool okay so oh oh wow So what happens now? I've never seen this before. Um, oh, oh, he extends even further. Oh, and the towel comes out. Look at that. That's pretty funky. Um, I'm not going to try and put this back together now, but that is in really good condition, actually. But, uh, yeah, that's... One of my new favourite castings. <laughs> Put that to one side so I can get it all back together again. <clears throat> um, so we have 1969. This is the Merriweather fire engine. And we do have a busted out windscreen there. <clears throat> I've got a right old uh, frog in the throat tonight. So I do apologise guys. Uh, the tyre fryer. I've not uh, kind of customized or restored one of these. I don't know whether I'm too interested in it, but you know, after 300 castings and more and more to come, eventually I'm going to run out of stuff to do. So I might, I might have to do one of these one day. Uh, this is cool. This is a hairy hustler, and I've I have an absolute beautiful mint condition one of these. I remember I've done a. Um, a, a kind of restored 
version of one of these and I've also done a um, like a, a Mad Max theme one as well post apocalyptic like the boss's car I think I called it so uh, that was uh, nice to remember the Formula One I've not done any of these yet but I will do the wheels look at the wheels they always go a bit funky don't they these A beautiful Volkswagen Beetle. This is a Corgi Whiz Wheels version. Um, I had something on the top there. Quite a strange kind of scowl. Scowl's not too bad, but a bit funky on the front end there, look. The old tipper there. Um, it's an Atlas. I've not done one of these, I just don't know what I would really do with something like that. <clears throat> Your answers down below. Um, this is a field car, missing of course the uh, canopy here. I thought what this is uh, based on. This new field car. I can't remember the brand. Um, no, I've lost it. Uh, so I shall move on. The Gruesome Twosome, I've done one of these a little while ago. Um, and I think I gave it away recently. Who did I give it away to? Anyway, it was, um, I think I, I, I sent out a few items recently. And uh, I think I popped that in there as a little extra. Um, what do we have here? Another Formula One. Oh, red window. It's a shame it's got a load of brakes in it. But of course the uh, Lamborghini Countach. Or <laughs> I was watching a um, a Tyler Hoovy from Hoovy's Garage. Um, I, I, I think he's such a personality. And uh, he's got a great little channel. I say little channel. He's over a million subscribers. But, um, so, but what I did learn from his channel is in America you pronounce Countach I think the Countage, Countage, or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, there you go. Would have been nice to have had that in there uh, in good condition. This is a big bull. Missing some tracks there. We've got an old uh, Chevy, a uh, Chevrolet van, and uh, kind of Corgi Junior's basic model there. We're missing a wheel. Oh, we've got another, uh, that's a bummer, another red windowed uh, Countach. Um, like the other one, it's also missing the uh, engine cover there. This is another uh, modern, we are missing kind of a on the top there what is this uh, it doesn't say anything it just it's a made in China there was a uh, a long time ago I as you guys uh, know I work within the uh, transport or shipping trade and uh, about 15 years or so ago we were sending out some uh, poles and it turned out that they were going to be used on tanks. So we had to stop doing it. A bit naughty. We always check. Is it military cargo? Nope. But they're a long time ago now. Uh, number seven, a Volkswagen Golf. Uh, Mark one, of course. Or you guys in America calling it the Volkswagen Rabbit. Uh, this one is missing the bits on the top there. I did uh, customize one of these a long time ago now, or at least it feels like it. Uh, I filled in the holes and I'm not too sure whether I have it anymore. I think I might have uh, given it away. I give away a lot of my castings. Um, you know, I can always make more. I've got thousands of of uh, 
castings that are yet to be touched. Uh, this is a Freeman Intercity Commuter. I've done one of these, like a little basic restoration. It's a funky looking thing and it over painted um, two different colours. Looks like uh, brown and grey. Um, there you go. Who would have thought? A caravan there with a broken door. Look at that. We got the uh, the beach buggy. Most of the paint has been kind of scratched off there. Although we are in keeping with the uh, headlights, I actually customised one of these a while ago, and uh, I never knew that it come with these, and mine never had them because they would they would come off. So uh, that's another kind of custom to come, I guess. Oh, this is cool. Look at the tiny little wheels on that. It calls from the film Cars. Um, it's a Chevy Impala with those little tiny wheels. Does it even roll? Yeah, it does. Pretty funky. Pretty funky. Whoops. Oh, it's a lovely. Uh... Oh, that's, is that a crack? No. I think that. Yeah, no, that's all right. That will come out. Um, so this is a Mercedes 600 SEL, and I don't have one of these, and I've not seen one before. And that I really like. I'd like to kind of give this the VIP treatment. I actually had a Mercedes that I gave a VIP treatment a long time ago, probably in my first 50 videos, and. Now this is before I had any aftermarket wheels and such and when I look back on it now it is truly awful but um, you know we all learn we all learn this one is a dump truck nice little thing this one's a modern oh never even heard of this uh, brand the Team Team Sterl, whatever that means. And of course, we are missing the uh, ladder on the back. It's not too bad, really. It's not, I mean, it's basic, but it's quite nice. Here we have a Formula One racer, pretty funky. Oh, I do like these. Have I done one of these? It's a Corgi Junior's AMC Pacer. And something tells me I have, but I just can't really remember. Um, but with a different set of wheels, I think that'll be uh, pretty funky. A little uh, custom or restoration there. Um, Pontiac Fiero. I think these are always. I think I don't think they're very kind of people just slate them, do they? I don't think many people are really f a fan. I think they look great, and I know they are used as a basis for many kit cars, Ferraris and such. Um, but I believe they only come with like. Do they come with a V8? If they do, I think it's like quite a relatively underpowered one, so they're just pretty slow, but. You know, you chuck in a nice uh, modern or big kind of LS or something. Um, get it moving down the street. Oh, this is nice. The uh, Mercedes 240D. With, you know, it's a basic, it's a kind of uh, relatively thin and cheaper casting. Um, but you know with some like details in the grill there and the headlights and the bumper thankfully the window sections all in good condition you know give a paint on the interior a nice uh, color on the outside change out the wheels and then i think we can make that look in much better so that's certainly a maybe this one's been over painted a dodge dragster 
and I have actually got one of these in better condition there than this but it still needs restoration this one of course has been overpainted in what appears to be nail varnish um, we are missing uh, part of the front there but uh, perhaps it could be made this is a Caterpillar D9 tractor. I think we're missing the tracks plus I'm assuming maybe a steering wheel or something here. Or would it be more levers? Levers, wouldn't it? Yeah, it must be levers, I would guess, because it's uh, a track vehicle. Uh, this one, the Pontiac Firebird SE. So our friend uh, Steve Miller, I'm sure he's saying, oh, that's lovely, that one. All the way across in, uh, is that going to focus? Switzerland there. So Schweppes, soft drinks. You know, it's a, a plastic base. It's a, you know, a, a cheaper, that they've not even kind of uh, got the spoiler on straight. <laughs> But it's still sweet. <clears throat> and then we have a sight dumper. I could drive this way. And what do we have here? This is wonderful, apart from it is an absolute wreck. Now, this is perfect for me because I'd love to restore this. It's a Jensen Interceptor, Corgi Juniors and it is really busted but that we have the doors of course i can always put replacement wheels on it the base is okay um you know the this is snapped a pillars missing snapped on this side you know the car's in two two pieces it's just being held together by um, the base um the interior seems to be okay but of course it's the windscreen there that whole window section now i know that i don't have one of these which is a real real shame um i will or do i no i know i, I know i won't have one of these because otherwise i would have done it already um i love the jensen interceptor but um if anybody does have a window piece for this car let me know so that I can attempt to restore that look at the state of it I think it's doable I think it's doable anyway and then last but not least we have what I can only assume it are the restored cars by our friend Tony. So we have the Matchbox Series number 75, the Ferrari Berlinetta. And uh, look at that lovely polished out base. The original wheels with good tyres. And then this beautiful smooth gold colour. I think... Uh, yeah, Tony's done a great job with that one. And then what do we have here? Oh, very good. I like what you've done with this one, mate. Um, so this is a um, Lamborghini Marzal, and I've done a couple of these. Um, one of them actually has got some, I think it's got over a hundred thousand views, would you believe, um, in, a, in a candy, if I remember rightly. But, um, you know, this, this to start with is uh, rare. We've got a nice, clean, unbroken window section there. I wonder, is this aftermarket? Because I'm sure everyone I have, I have 
or have had has been a coloured glass. This one's clear and it goes, I just think, so well in the silver. And these wheel choice, these is a good year uh, eagle, but I wonder if they're off of a, you know, one of these Pixar uh, car, you know, cars movie um, cars. But they're, you know, just got a tiny little bit of poke. And they're the right scale. And I just think look really good in this car. How cool is that? It's a lovely roller. So those two will certainly be going in my uh, little collection. Um, I'm going to customize or restore one of these. I would really love it to be this one. But unfortunately, like I say, I just don't have a replacement window section for that right now. Um, good luck, it's even twisted. You see, as I lay it down, it's kind of lifting up at the front. That's going to be a real task to try and get that one back. But like I say, I would like to try it. Hmm, which one should I do? Anyway, I won't keep you holding uh, because you will know which one I've done because hopefully you've just finished watching that part of the video. Um, anyway, thanks guys for watching. Thanks again, Tony, uh, for another uh, kind of batch of cars. And, you know, of course, throughout here, we've got uh, many future builds. And uh, I'll see you all guys soon.